Ah, that's so much more secure. Oh man, it's kind of making me want to take apart the hind leg of the last one. But to be fair, I haven't had any issues with the hind leg of the last time. Alpha, this alpha is back. Prepare for him a hard work with attitude. Hello and welcome to the next episode of Build the Megazord where we are looking at issue 84 this week continuing with the final few issues of this Sabretooth Tiger and this is the part that we get in issue 84. Um, now you may have seen last week, if you haven't seen last week I don't know why you're watching this one first but you may have seen last week that I said this issue comes with two silver screws you'll only need the one of these, they always do one spare but you will need the spare black screw that came in last issue. So I hope you haven't lost that because you will need that to attach the back leg to this nice yellow part here. And this yellow part, you know, is solid, it's metal, it looks great. And you may remember from last time that I had real problem connecting the back leg to this uh, yellow part. Let's just take a quick look at that. Um, and this is just loose now. There's, that screw just isn't even purchasing, which is a bit of a worry. Um, I'm just going to try it with the spare screw actually that I got in that issue. And just do that. That one seems to <laughs> not done anything. <laughs> so I'm determined to get it right this time. I'm going to go slow, I'm going to go steady. I think maybe if it is the same screw issue uh, as this time that threw me last time, I don't know, I can't say for sure, but maybe that's what threw me. But I'm determined to get it right this time. So I'm just gonna put that part aside for now and bring back the leg which we were looking at last week. Last week, the last part we did was put this hinge in there. And what we need to do is get uh, this part and position the hinge so that it goes into that connector port there. So that just sits and goes in like that. And then we have this part here that will sit around there. Lots of different connection holes. And then you really do just push it in to secure it. So it will look like that when it's all done. This part free to move, this part. Oh, hold on. <laughs> you don't push it in yet, do you? Because it's not connected to anything. What a fool. I'm gonna loosen that a little bit and I'm actually gonna get the leg, which is meant to go on. No, hold on, I'm gonna have to take it up properly. I'm going to have to take the leg here and then get this part all lined up and connected. But that's at a really funny angle that I've put that in. Drat. I wonder if I can turn that. Okay, I'm just going to turn this because it's at that angle there, quite horizontal, and I can't get the peg over that part because the plastic's in the way. So I'm just going to change that, be right back. Okay, so um, I've moved that around so it's now facing vertical. I've done my nailing while doing it, so if you notice that, sorry for the skanky nail. Um, and then I can position this part. Oh, it says in there like that. So that is sat on that hinge. Flip it around and then exactly what I did last time, but with everything else in place, is push that down. There we go. Push it down, push it down, push it down. There's a little click. I do love a good little click. As long as it doesn't break anything, yep, there we go. That's in. That is in. So that is the hinge there, the hinge of the ankle there, and this hinged part here of the leg. Looking great. Now, this is where I went wrong last time. So here is the, uh, the metal part, the yellow part of the Sabretooth Tiger. And again, okay, right, okay. So I think, I I think I just worked out what I did. I think I put the screw hole in there last time when I shouldn't have done, because I think that comes later. I think the metal screw goes further down. The instructions are either clearer this time or I'm reading them better this time. I'll leave you to decide which that may be. But hopefully, if that's in there, Ah, that's so much more secure. 
Oh man, it's kind of making me want to take apart the hind leg of the last one. But to be fair, I haven't had any issues with the hind leg of the last time. But this one is far more secure. And that does just tie in there and then oops, comes out to form the back leg there like that. So yeah, far more secure. Good. Success story. And then, yeah, just make sure that I can tuck it all in and the wheels are showing. Yeah, that looks good to me. That looks really good to me. Phew. Okay, a little bit of a bitty issue this week, but um, it's bound to happen with part works. Uh, next week, I tell you, I'm very, very excited about next week because it is a part of the Sabretooth Tiger that we haven't seen before. And you may think, but you're just building the other side of the Sabretooth Tiger. How can that be? Well, tune in next week to find out. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye.